Hey guys, it is your wannabe metalhead here, and today we're doing something a lot different from my channel actually. We are in the kitchen, as you might have noticed. There's stuff in the back where I can look at that. We're not fat, I promise. <laughs> we're gonna do uh, cooking with Mama Metal. Hi everybody! In order for you ever to get treatment at the hospital, he needs to lose some weight. So today, I'm gonna share some of my recipes with you. The first one we're gonna make is a salmon loaf, and here's how we do it. So the first thing you need to do in order to prepare your delicious salmon loaf is you, first of all you gotta clean the fish by slicing off the skin like you do with your victims. If the skin off. <laughs> and the next thing you need to do is obviously preheat the oven and then you gotta make a face a little bain marie that you can kinda see in the background over there. And if you don't know what a bain marie is, it's basically where you have this giant bowl, you put water in it and then you put your little uh, loaf container. Science terms, cooking terms, yeah. So, in order to make the salmon loaf, the first thing you need to do is chop off the salmon. You can use cod or mackerel or any other kind of fatty fish. Basically, just a fish that's overweight. So. <laughs> any kind of fatty fish. Any kind of fatty fish. You know? Am I, am I and a fatty fish? In order to uh, for the blender to be able to chew it, you need to cut it down to small pieces. And the blender we have is kind of shit, so we need to cut out its teeny tiny pieces. <laughs> As you guys saw, that's in the bowl, I can kind of show them. Like, this, like this, this is what we're talking about. This ain't no sushi restaurant. This is how small our bits are, so. And there's about 250 grams of uh, salmon here. Oh, it smells so good. Mm. There's like four for fish lovers. Mm. Finding Nemo 3. The hidden. <laughs> the hidden footage. <laughs> the fan footage. Finding Nemo 3. <laughs> So while she's stopping, let me stand here and entertain you. I try to not put my hand on the warm stove. I mean, the cooking plates aren't turned on, so we should be good. For now. For now. <laughs> <laughs> if I burn my hand, you're the one driving me to the hospital. So it all goes in a bowl. As I showed you before, the same bowl. Ain't no camera tricks here. And of course, when you're working with meat and vegetables, Make sure that uh, when you change from uh, meat to vegetables, that's the that knife and uh, the chopping board is uh, is clean. So basically, either you just want to clean it really thoroughly between chopping, or just get a fresh one. As my mom is cleaning in the thing over there, she's cleaning her hands. So either get a clean cutting board or just clean it really, really thoroughly. So now two eggs. Pop in them chicken periods. <laughs> but eggs are chicken periods, you know that? Is it cool if I take like a little piece there, or is it like infested with something I have to go out to eat? Well, as long as it doesn't touch the eggs, it won't. <laughs> I just, I just kind of want that. It's just, uh, in this case, it's uh, fresh raw salmon. Fresh raw salmon. Which is a little boring. What are you doing? Then some salt. Fish can take a lot of salt. So and some pepper. Don't be afraid to get more than a pinch. That doesn't taste very good. So the raspberry we're gonna put up is just this. But I like to mix it up and I like to uh, use all kinds of spices. So I'm putting a little dill in. That's good for fish. And it's healthy. I don't think it's called dill in English. And some chili flakes. Now you have to be a little careful with some of these because they can be really hot. But salmon, salmon is a really fat fish, fatty fish. So you need some kind of spice to break it up. So just a little shake of that. Okay. Well, it's called dill. Okay. And then they're supposed to go a quart of cream in. But I mix it up with water or low fat milk because otherwise it's too much. Yeah. We don't want to make cream for our hot chocolate later, which we don't have. And then it goes in the blender. And if you have a blender, that's cool, but we're just using this. <laughs> so earlier we uh, talked about the bannery or water bath and it's basically you take uh, a bread mold put it in a little bigger mold with some water in it 
And we have put some uh, baking paper. With some some, some water water paper. Yeah. You can grease the pan and not use baking paper. But I like the baking paper because I'm going to show you later when it comes out of the mold. It's way easier to get it out, right? Yeah. So, take a spoon, load it up. I know it looks icky, but uh, it's going to taste really well out there. <laughs> well, food can be disgusting sometimes, but it tastes, uh, if it looks, the more icky it looks when you're cooking it, the better it tastes when it's done. I mean, if you straight up good like shit, man. Uh, <laughs> this little guy goes in the oven for 180 degrees for about 45 minutes. And that is still shit. And I'll put the pepper mm -hmm. on the screen. And we'll see you later. So, we're back and we're ready to take the salmon out of the oven. And here it comes. <laughs> well, we're going to take the salmon out of here and move the molds. You have to be careful here because it's really hot. And now the trick is to do a bottom top. Do you want to flip it upside down? Flip it upside down, yeah. Like you do with like the, uh, the reverse or the plastics. And now I have asbestos fingers because I've been cooking for many years. Oh. So this is what it looks like when it comes out of the mold. Again, let me get some clothes on. So you don't have to... And we can just cut a little piece up. This is what it looks like inside. If it'll focus, that's what it looks like. When that's you the, that's the munchy piece. It's really, really good. This. I'll eat that. This, this is huh. good food. That is delicious. So you just put a little piece on a plate, maybe some salad. Come here. <laughs> I was cooking with Mama Metal our first episode. Hope you enjoy. If you enjoy, why don't you go ahead and slap the like button in the face, like a straight up metalhead, uh, subscribe, share, leave a comment, whatever you feel like. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye! Let's have a little taste of this. So, uh, let's hear what the judge says. <laughs> let, let, let's hear what the, what the fatty fish says. Uh, the sauce is good as simple as tomatoes, bell pepper, a little bit of lettuce, so on and so forth. Let's not taste the real deal here. I don't want to say it, but you did it again. <laughs> I did what? <laughs> you made delicious food. I didn't hear you. You made delicious food. Thank you very much. <laughs> Hope you enjoy, folks. See you guys tomorrow. Also, a thing we kind of forgot to say is that the serving we made here is for four people for like a dinner meal. Yeah. Yeah, so. And it's good whenever it's hot or cold. You can use it in a sandwich, uh, eat it next day, maybe with some dressing. Yeah. Yeah. So a little bit here. In a bun. There. So that was it. We'll 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 leave now. <laughs> there you go. Hey, I hope you enjoyed the salmon. Uh, see us next time for some vegetable pie. Which is gonna be about maybe two or three days. We'll see. Yeah. So. So and, see you for some more uh, happy cooking. And and for sure we'll go now. So stay metal.